So tonight I ask you one last time, are you ready to make your voices heard? Do we believe in freedom? Do we believe in opportunity? Do we believe in the promise of America? And are we ready to fight for it? You're going to say, Kamala? You're horrible at your job. You don't know what you're doing. You're a low IQ individual. We want smart people. We want cunning people. We're dealing with the smartest people in the world. We don't want you negotiating nuclear deals because you don't want the you don't know what the word nuclear means. Kamala, you're fired. Get the hell out of here. Two very different closing messages from both candidates on the final day of the presidential campaign. We'll have a complete recap from the trail and get you ready for election day. Also ahead, a look at the key races that could decide which party controls Congress next year. Good morning and welcome to Way Too Early on this Tuesday, November 5th, Election Day in America. I'm Jonathan Lemire. Thank you so much for being with us. It is our honor and privilege to get you started today on such an important day for our nation and its future. We begin now with a few polling locations across the East Coast that are just beginning to open the doors to voters and many more will open up just an hour from now. In an election day tradition, residents in Dixville Notch, New Hampshire, cast their ballots for president shortly after midnight. This year, it was an even split, with three votes going to Vice President Kamala Harris and three going to former President Donald Trump. Vice President Kamala Harris spent the last full day of her campaign in Battleground, Pennsylvania. Harris traveled all the way across the Commonwealth, making stops in Scranton, Reading, Allentown, and Pittsburgh. She visited local businesses and even, as you see here, knocked on some doors. The vice president then ended her day with a star-studded rally in Philadelphia, standing on the city's famous rocky steps at the art museum there. Harris leaned into her image as an underdog in the race, and she aimed to spread a message of unity. Our campaign has tapped into the ambitions and the aspirations and the dreams of the American people. We are optimistic and we are excited about what we can do together. And we know it is time for a new generation of leadership in America. And I am ready to offer that leadership as the next President of the United States of America. However, the race ain't over yet. <laughs> and we must finish strong. And this could be, this could be one of the closest races in history. And we will win because when you know what you stand for, you know what to fight for. And we have an opportunity in this election to finally turn the page on a decade of politics that has been driven by fear and division. We are done with that. We're done. We're exhausted with it. America is ready for a fresh start, ready for a new way forward where we see our fellow American not as an enemy, but as a neighbor. So America, we started this campaign 107 days ago. And from the beginning, ours has not been a fight against something, it has been a fight for something. A fight for a future with freedom, with opportunity, and with dignity for all Americans. Our campaign
campaign has brought together people from all corners of this nation and from all walks of life, united by our love for our country and our faith in a brighter, stronger, and more hopeful future that we will build together. And tonight, then we finish as we started, with optimism, with energy, with joy, knowing, knowing that we, the people, have the power to shape our future and that we can confront any challenge we face when we do it together.